Yo, what's up, YouTube? James Beck here, and welcome back to another episode of VGC 2020 Apex Battles. Today is the last day with the Rain Room team of Politoed, Mantine, Dust Clubs, Dragalgy, Incineroar, and S Cavalier. If you haven't checked out the previous episodes, highly recommend go checking out. You can check them out in the description down below. And make sure you grab the rental code while you can because it's two weeks till this team is up. So make sure you grab it while you can again check it out but otherwise there is a pacement if in case you missed the opportunity to grab the team or if you want to try it on pokemon showdown so before we get this video started a few announcements of course as always if you do enjoy these videos be sure to leave a like down below and leave a comment down below it really does help me out the youtube algorithm and really helps out my videos and my channel going forward so if you do enjoy these videos be sure to leave a like down below and leave a comment down below it really does help out otherwise you can check out my Twitch channel where I do live stream VGC as well as some variety games. I do stream games like Kid Icarus Uprising. Highly recommend go check it out because we're going to be finishing that game pretty soon. Uh, we're going to be finishing that game on my birthday. It's actually July 28th. It is coming up really closely. So if you do want to check it out and hang with me in my community, go check it out there. Link in the description down below. Otherwise, let's get started with today's video. So today's common question of the day is going to be, who is your favorite gym leader in the Pokemon universe? There are a lot of great options. And for me, I actually could never really decide because like, I'm not sure. Like I like a lot of the gym leaders. Um, I do really like a lot of them. The ones that are the least memorable for me has always been the X and Y gym leaders. I feel like they never stood out personally. But otherwise, the other gym leaders have been super solid. I'm not exactly sure who would be my favorite gym leader. But let me know yours in the comment section down below. Because I really can't think of who my favorite gym leader would be. Personally, I just have no clue. I'm trying to think of... <laughs> I tried thinking about this earlier too when I thought about the common question. But like... I really just don't know. It's a really hard question. So let me know your favorite uh, gym leader in the comment section down below. And let me know the reason why. We got Ash. Oh, is this Ashton again? I think this is Ashton. Oh, great. Okay. All right. We have an interesting one. We have Rin we have Gaffatel, the Cinder Ace, Milotic, Togekiss, Rillaboom, and Grimmsnarl. So this is a very interesting team. For sure. Um... Yeah, why did I have to face Ashton immediately? Okay. Um... Not sure what I would go here. I feel like Rain would be really good. I'm worried about Goth though because of the trapping. The Shadow Tag would be pretty bad here. So, don't really like Incineroar in this matchup. I don't think it's even that great here. I think Polytoed Mantine is probably safe here with Dust Cups or Gouji. I think S Cavalier could be good. I'm thinking about it in theory, but I feel like it's just better not to bring it. Yeah, I think I'm just going to go with these four and see how it goes. Um, yeah, I didn't expect to face Ashton. I know he's streaming right now at the time of recording this, so we'll see how this goes. We will see how this goes, but this should be a good one. It should be a good one. Uh, so if you don't know, Ashton does stream. I'm assuming this is Ashton. I'm pretty sure this is. He's been starting YouTube and Twitch content lately. He's a two-time international champion. Go check him out. I'll put his stuff down below. Okay, we got a pretty bad lead. Okay. Uh, we're going to see the Togekiss as well as the Grimmsnarl. Okay. So I'm kind of okay with this lead. It's actually really weak to Dragalge if I let it. Uh, it would have also been really weak to S Cavalier. I think I'm just going to go for Muddy Water. Get as much damage as possible. There's not really a safe switch my opponent has. And I'm going to go Dusclops. Oh, it could be the fake Tears Togekiss stuff. I guess maybe that's what you're going for here. Maybe? I don't know. Uh, I don't know what exactly the sets are. Maybe it's like Trick Eject Button. Maybe it's just standard screen stuff. I'm not exactly too sure. I'm going to go out into my Dusclops though. Uh, this could be really bad though. Scope Lens and Focus Sash Grimstorm. Fake out and Dazzlingly? No, oh, Air Slash. I told a voice though, which is pretty nice. Okay. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what's going on here, but okay. I feel like you have Taunt, right? I feel like you should have Taunt. I'm just going to go for the Grimstorm. I might as well just try to get rid of Grimstorm. It is going to go for Taunt. Not surprised. Uh, Dazzlingly? Air Slash once again. Okay. 
into the dust pops Does he not have dazzling gleam potentially muddy water uh grim snarl avoids okay i would have left that to hit because that would have probably been able to knock a grim snarl after a nightshade but we get good damage on tokus so that's fantastic damage nightshade does come out as we are able to chip away at the grim snarl okay not too bad the problem is screens is probably going to come up here and unless you don't have screens could be a potential option i'm just going to double the grim snarl again i'm going to try to set up for a mantine because i think mantine does win this game if played correctly so yeah, I'm just going to go on the offense here. I can definitely switch out if I want to, but I don't want to take too much damage if I decide to Dynamax the Mantine. Uh, we are going to see the Air Slash and the Polyto. does get the critical hit. And uh, we do get the Muddy Water off this time. And since he didn't set up a screen, Muddy Water going to come out. Eliminates the Togekiss. Wow, that actually did a lot less to Grimstone than I thought. Wow. A Spear Break going to come out, doubling into the Polyto. So Polyto is going to go down here. So I'm fine with Polytoad going down. Can I knock out the Grimstall with Nightshade though? Because if I don't, it's a little bit of a strange position. Uh, no, we don't. Okay. So I could go Dragalge here. I could go Mantine. Dragalge sounds really solid here. So I think I am going to go Dragalge here. Real Boom going to come out. Oh, excellent. Okay, perfect. That's what you like to see. I'm going to bring out my Dragalge here. And I don't know if we have a thing that can get rid of my clops um okay so i'm not exactly sure what you go for here i feel like it's quake into the dragalgy potentially if you have it oh i do have the max poison and i would do a ton of damage to real boom i could also go out into the mantine which is also not that bad of a play here so i have quite a few options here i just don't know what kind of real boom you are Maybe I go for the Max Ooze, or do I go back into Mantine and just Nightshade to Grimmsnarl? Which I don't think is a bad play, but I'm worried about Spear Break doing too much damage. So you know what? I'm going to Nightshade the Grimmsnarl, and I'm going to go for the Max Poison. I think it's fine overall. We're not going to see a Dynamax from Ashen's side, which is okay here. Okay. So we will bring out the Dragalge, Dynamax it, and let's see what he went for. Does he have like anything that could really change up this game? I'm not sure. Maybe he goes for a knockoff to get rid of an item here. We will set up the Dragalgy though. So let us see. It's high horsepower and I do have a weakness policy. So that's really good here. Okay, perfect. And that is great. Spear break. Yeah, double up. Okay, awesome. That's a critical hit, which is actually kind of unfortunate for me, but I think that's okay as long as I get to knock on the real boom with the adaptability plus one max ooze. I feel like it should. Yep, we do knock out the real boom. Excellent. So good by real boom. We are going to be able to get a plus one. So we're at plus two special attack, and we're going to be able to get a nightshade off into the uh, Grimstone. I'm actually surprised it wasn't a Dynamax or Max. Um, max with real boom but maybe they have the cinderace in the back maybe that's what they were trying to save it for i like cinderace dynamax wasn't too important in this matchup because of the fact that my mantine still threatens it so let's see uh taunt wears off we're gonna see probably i assume it's gonna be the cinderace in the back that's the only pokemon oh my loading are you offensive my loading I have a very safe trick room, I feel like, here. Um, hmm. You think it's a nice move is the question. Because, like, Protect is kind of obvious here. I'm worried if he's Life Orb, he gets a Geyser off into Dusclops, and then I'm in a lot of trouble. I'm going to actually Lightning here, and I'm going to Nightshade. I think it's fine. Goes for blind hypnosis. Okay, I could have max guarded. Okay, that's fine. If it's like a support Milotic, I do not worry about this position, I think. I do get the Nightshade off, and now I could go for the Trick Room, I think. Yeah, I think Trick Room's fine. Rain stops too, so they can't damage me. So if it's a hypnosis Milotic, it's not really going to do too, too much here. I think it's completely fine. He's also risking a lot right now. I'm going to go for the lightning into the Milotic because setting up the electric terrain does prevent me, uh, my opponent from going for hypnosis later in the game. And yeah, we'll go for max lightning here. I don't see a reason not to. And we'll go for the trick room. 
Should I just Nightshade? Maybe Nightshade's better. I could Pain Split too. Nah, I'm just gonna Trick Room. I think Trick Room is fine. It might Hypnosis my, uh... It could try to Hypnosis me. They're gonna Coil, which is fine. Because, like, Coil doesn't change anything other than these Accuracy things. And I don't think it's that bad here. Let's see if we wake up with Dragality. We do wake up with Dragality and get the Max Lightning off, so that will be a good game. So we did get the one turn wake, but I think uh, Ashton would have needed a lot of luck because if this Milotic's only move was Muddy Water, it would have been extremely tough to beat my Mantine along with my Dragology, regardless. So yeah, especially since I still have a Dust Cops in the back. So yeah, we are going to be able to take a win, which is very nice. So don't know if this was Ashton, but if it, I will find out for you. And if it was, you can check out his stuff down below in the description. He is a Twitch streamer as well as a YouTube content creator or is trying to make it. So you know what? If you do want to see some high quality battles, what better player to look at than the only two time international champion? But yeah. Let's get started and play another one. So pretty solid right there. Pretty solid. As we are almost back into the Master Ball team. Well, we, we've been in the Master Ball team. I'm talking about top 100. It feels like another row to number one, which I do on my Twitch streams, by the way, sometimes. Uh, we try it like maybe like once a month recently, and it's been extremely fun. Extremely challenging. Extremely frustrating. A lot of stuff happens. So yeah, make sure you go check it out if you haven't already. Twitch.tv slash stream. So you're back. And yeah. I won't stop promoting the Twitch streams because they are a lot of fun and you should be joining them if you haven't already, if you have the opportunity to watch them. So yeah, uh, we also have like a lot of stuff coming with the Twitch channel coming up soon. So make sure you go check it out. And yeah, there's some projects I'm going to be involved in later. So that yeah, should be a good, exciting one. Otherwise, uh, we're just waiting for the next battle. Felt like that battle was pretty good. Yeah, I glad i didn't dynamax the mantine there was a little bit of luck involved obviously the air slash mission kind of sucked but then he got this crit of course the crit was 50 percent chance but i felt like it was fair overall um i missed a muddy water and grimstall after that too so i think it kind of balanced out regardless so yeah i felt like it was pretty solid all around but yeah i'm really surprised they didn't dynamax the reload though because i feel like he wouldn't dynamax my load in this situation so i felt like quake was very very likely there so i'm really surprised uh ashton didn't go for quake there uh especially since it probably gave him a better shot of winning uh i don't know if he would have lived the max ooze at plus one i feel like he would it depends on the real boom item once again but yeah it's taking a while to find an, another game i guess because we're so high up on ladder but we'll be right back with the second game of today's episode all right it took so long to find another opponent we have another japanese player 364 ranking colossal stuff which is interesting we're gonna see the dragapult primarina colossal real boom in Sinroar and whimsgod so very interesting stuff to see here um yeah this is really interesting stuff um Colossal stuff really doesn't like Dusclops, and I feel like Dusclops is fine here. I think I could realistically sweep with the Dragalgy, uh, with Specs Politoed endgame, actually. Because, like, as long as Dragalgy is able to deal with the Reelaboom and the Primarina, I'm able to beat the Clops with the Muddy Water. I don't want to lead Politoed Mantine because you're not going to lead... I really just don't think you would lead Dragapult combined with Colossal. Unless it's Choice Guard Dragapult, I could see it. If it's... I think uh, the Primarina most likely is going to be Aqua Jet. So I could see that as a lead potentially, but you have to choose between set max flare or you go for the max rock move, knock on my man time, but specs polytoed KOs you after that. So I don't know if that's exactly worth it for you because I don't even have to dynamax man time in this situation. So I feel like colossal lead is really bad if you're my opponent. So I do think the way I win this is just Dragalgy. I think Dragalgy just win, assuming that it's not max quake colossal, which very well could be. I have seen a lot of different Colossal teams. It's actually been picking up a lot more in usage recently, which I'm very surprised about. Um, I guess maybe because it's probably better against some Sun teams specifically. Uh, Colossal can do some work against Sun teams depending on their set. But yeah, let's see how this goes. This is not exactly the best Sun counter because Venusaur with Quake can obliterate it. We're going to see Colossal lead though with Whimsicott. Ooh, don't know what this lead is for though. Gonna lead the Incineroar plus the uh, Dusclops right away. Okay. Weak this policy and eject button. Okay, so I definitely don't want the eject button going out of my Dusclops. So you know what? I'm definitely going to trick room here and I'm definitely going to click fake out. No questions asked. I'm not going to worry about anything. There was no psychic terrain that I had to deal with. 
I'm glad they trade Incineroar because it's not a Pokemon that needs to be used in this matchup to win the game. We're going to see a Dynamax come out. This should be the Colossal. And it looks like my opponent's just going to go straight for the offense here, which is completely acceptable. Although, since the Colossal is not exactly in its full potential because it doesn't have the weakness policy, it won't be doing too much to my team. If it knocks out Incineroar, I don't think that's bad for me at all. So let's see. We do get the Fake Out off, so it is Eject's button. We will be able to eject that Whimsicott out of here. So Whimsicott is gone. We're going to see what brings out here. I think Primarina would most likely be coming out here for my opponent's end. Uh, that's Dragon Bolt though. Okay. I'm surprised, but that works out for me. Volcalyph gonna come out into my uh, Incineroar. Okay. I think that is special Dragon Bolt. If it was physical, I'm pretty sure that it would have been less. So that's a perfectly acceptable. Uh, we will go down to two to Rock's damage, but that is completely acceptable. I feel like we're in a pretty good spot regardless. I do like our position a lot here, actually. I'm really not that worried about the Dragapult. Realistically, I'm not. Um, I could bring out Specs Politoed, or I could bring out the Dragalgy. Both kind of work in this position. I think I'm just going to go Dragalgy, though. The problem with bringing out Dragalgy is a little bit interesting because of the fact that there is the threat from the... Uh... So I could see the Dra Dragapult switching out into the Whimsicott here. I think that'd be a very safe play from my opponent's end. The question is, if I go for the Whimsicott, if they switch into Whimsicott, is it that bad for me? I don't think it is because I get to click a free max who's afterwards. So you know what? We'll go for it. I don't think Colossal's doing anything right now. It's really just not. It's just sitting there. It's just like spread damage, but that's really it. It's not doing that much. So I'd rather go for the Dragon Bolt here. Yes, I do think the Whimsicott is a play, yet I don't think it's that bad if they hard switch into Whimsicott. They could ally switch too, which is definitely a potential option. I can definitely see that. Looks like they stay in though, so I'm in a good position. Because getting rid of Dragapult, even if they protect, I'm actually in a good spot because Dragon should do like 40% and then Nightshade into, uh, I think the Poison will get it. So yeah, we should be in a good spot. Dragalgy will come out here. I don't remember, well, Dragalgy should be slower than uh, Colossal, but I think I could save the attack from later. Okay, no protect, which wouldn't be surprised. I'm assuming the Dragapult's focus hash on this team. We are going to be able to get a Whirlwind off and pick up the knockout into the Dragapult. So Dragapult does go down. Excellent. And again, I just don't see what the Colossal's doing here. It can flare, it, which doesn't change anything. Oh, it does a Quake. Okay. That activates my weakness policy, though, so I'm in a good spot. And as you can see, it's just not doing any damage. It's just really not. I don't know if that's physical. That might be mixed or physical. Huh. I really can't tell because I feel like that's off high horsepower. But the rock move didn't feel like it was based on high horsepower. So this is very confusing. The Gouji able to hang on. Uh, Whimsicott comes out. I just max poison it. It's very safe. I'm not worried about Colossal. As I said before, respects Polyto in the back. We are very safe. We're going to see the Whimsicott come out here. Whimsicott does not get access to ally switch. I'm going to go for the pain split actually into the Colossal. Was there a switch in my opponent had for max poison? There is absolutely no switch for max poison. So we will go for the pain split here and we will go for the max ooze. Very safe play overall. There's no punish tool that could happen. You could switch a room my, uh, my dust clops, but you're just going to taunt instead, which is completely fine too. Cause like I didn't, Pain split was like extra. I just got to keep it around. It's not absolutely necessary. Able to knock out the Whimsicott here though. The so Whimsicott does go down and we're in a fantastic spot right now. We are in an absolute fantastic spot. Whimsicott goes down and we're going to see another Quake. Oh, Vocalip again. Which I just, I think Quake would be better. Because like the rock damage didn't res, it doesn't reset the rock uh, turns. So, or the vocal of turn, so I don't know why. Maybe trying to cover for ally switch, but I think Quake is better for your spadef anyway. I don't know. We're gonna see Real Boom come in. Okay. So this should 100% seal the game now. Unless the Real Boom has Protect, and if they have Protect, 
Actually, a day of protect, it could be concerning. But the uh, Dynamax is over for Colossal anyway, so we're still in a really good spot. Uh, we'll go for the... It's just Nightshade, double up the Rillaboom. Yeah, because um, if it has Protect, so be it. I can't really do anything about it. I might as well just get as much damage as I can possibly. But they Grassy Glide, my Dust Clops, it doesn't change anything. Like, there really isn't, like, anything that the Rillaboom can do. It is Grassy Glide. Gonna try to go for Dragalge, but Dragalge is just able to hang on easily. It's a Life Orb Rillaboom, too. Uh, we will see a Nightshade go off into the Rillaboom slot. And Dragalge, since it was slower, is able to get the attack off into the Rillaboom. And pick up a knockout. I, since this is offensive Rillaboom, I'm assuming that I'd be able to knock out the Rillaboom with a max poison to protect anyway because of the boost. But yeah, because I was at plus three with the Dragauchi and his adaptability that's pretty strong. So Rillaboom goes down as we do see the Earth Power. It is Earth Power. Okay. Ah, that Earth. Just a max Quake off special Dragauchi is just nothing. I'm really surprised about how well Dragauchi took that earlier. So. That's completely fine as the rocks damage again into the dust clops is fine. And yeah, we're gonna hit with the grassy terrain. We get to go into Specs Politoed and clean up now because Specs Politoed will destroy the it will just destroy this. I don't care if you're plus one or plus two. This is Specs Politoed in the rain. I really don't think you have a way that can live. So we'll go for the nightshade and we'll go for the skull. I also kind of want to go for Earth Power because I've never seen Polyto go for Earth Power, but I don't think the animation is that impressive. Nightshade going to come out of Colossal. Do you have anything for the Polyto? Oh, just Earth Power. Yep, that's not going to do anything. Yep, as Polyto able to eat that up, Scald going to come out into the Colossal, and that is going to be good game. So we are able to go 2 0 in this episode, and I think overall, I believe, if I am correct, the team, I believe, performed. Nine wins, one loss, which is super solid for a Bexic Battles team, especially with some really fun mods that have proved themselves. I think all three of them, uh, Dragalge, uh, Mantine, as well as Cavalier, they all did their work in the games that they were brought in. And yeah, just absolutely fun team all around. And yeah, I just think we were able to just do a ton of work. We were able to get... 67th on the ladder with this team alongside the other Bex Battles teams. If you do want to try out the Bex Battles teams like this one, make sure you grab it while you can. Two weeks time limit. Go check it out. The rental code available in the description as well as the pay spin if you do want to try it out. You can check out my other social medias, the size of my channel and more. You can check out my Patreon page if you want to go an extra mile to support my content. But you know what? There are three ways to support me by leaving a like on this video, share it with your friends and leave a comment down below. All three ways to support me and I really do appreciate it. You can also check me out on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash jamesofvec for more V2C and more variety games, as well as you can interact with me and see more of just the educational person I am, more of the personality person that I am. If you want to go check it out, highly recommend doing so. Link in the description down below. You can also check out my community discord where if you want V2C help and want to interact with an awesome community that is great, make sure you go check it out. Link in the description down below. But yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Next time we'll be using a brand new team. So look forward to that. Otherwise, that's going to be it. Have a great day, people. And until we bow again, I'll catch you all later.